Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make a dress in Blender. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. Now I will mention that I'm just going to be using one of my own characters that I just animated simply with the arms folding down. Um, but you can use your own character, and as long as it's kind of starting in a T pose like this, it'll make it a lot easier for you. But the idea here is to make this dress, as you can see here. Okay, it's a really nice looking cloth simulation, and we just have these pieces here, which we're going to model. And then with the cloth simulation, we're just going to go ahead and snap them together like this. And you can have this sort of simulating on top of an animated character if you wanted to. In this case, it's more just showing you how to make the actual dress. So once again, as you can see here, there we go, a nice dress cloth simulation in Blender. So let's jump in. And by the way, those of you on the Patreon will be getting access to this blend file on there. So if you're on Patreon, definitely keep an eye out. But for now, I think we'll just jump in and make this dress. So if you're gonna go ahead and follow along by making a dress, ideally your character is in like a starting T pose like this. That'll just make things a little bit easier. Um, and what I've done with my character, I just animated the arms quickly going down. And that's all I did, just 70 um, frames worth. But like I said, this tutorial is about the dress, not the character. So once you have your own character ready to go, having it in a T-pose, what you're gonna do is you're gonna first of all make sure to select your character mesh. You wanna go over to your physics and you wanna make sure you give it a collision. So over here you can see I already have one, but if you don't, you just click on collision. And it'll add a collision here to your character mesh. Now the cloth can interact. So with that said, let's go to frame one and let's go shift A, let's go to our mesh options and add in a plane. And we'll just grab this plane and move it up and we'll go R, X, nine, zero and hit enter. And as you can see, my plane is about this big relative to the character. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just tab into edit mode and with all of this active, you're gonna go G, Y and move it forward. You can see the origin point sits roughly in the middle here. Um, that's kind of a good place for it to be. So now of that done in our front view, we're gonna go over and give it a modifier. We're gonna go add modifier, search and type in M I R, click on mirror and by default it should be X since we are in our front view. If you grab these two verts here and you go G, X and move them over and then enable clipping and you kind of move them together. You can see now that they snap together. So if I go G, they'll stay together like that. So now let's start making the dress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go and toggle on the X-ray. And over here, I'm gonna go and maybe just bring these two verts down like so. Bring these two up and bring them to about here. And I'm gonna go Control R, add in a loop across here, double click to add it in. And I'll kind of move this one out a little bit. So kind of squaring these two up like that. And then I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna right click and go subdivide. And I'm gonna come here to the subdivide tab and I'll subdivide it maybe seven times. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select these verts over here. Just these like four faces. And I'm gonna go X and delete those vertices. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this vertex here and kind of bring it in a little bit just to round this out. I'm gonna make this more of like a V-neck. Almost, so maybe just rounding it out. And over here you can see the faces have stretched. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna press K to get a cut tool. I'm gonna to go from this part of this stretched um, quad here and go across to here. And then I'm just gonna go up and up and up to the edge here and hit enter. So now we've looped it like that and I'm gonna go hit the K tool again to get the cut tool. I'm gonna to go from this vertex all the way through into here and then hit enter. And then I'm just gonna grab these two over here. I'm gonna go S just to scale them, G to kind of just move them in a bit. And then I'm gonna go F3 and I'm gonna type in merge. I'm gonna go merge at center. And now we have this. Okay, so we've just cleaned it up a little bit and I might just move these here and we just rounded this out like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just select these three verts up here, just rotate them slightly, and we're gonna go E and extrude it up to about here. And then we're gonna go Control R and just roll in with our middle mouse button two loops like that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna select 
Going down to just under the armpit here, we're gonna go X and delete those faces. And let's just also select these verts here, go X, delete those verts. So what we want is just an edge running along here from this bit coming down like so to about here, okay? And then we're gonna just grab this corner here, kind of move it in. And once again, I'm gonna just get the K, press K to get the cut tool. I'm gonna to go across over here, go up like so. And what I'll do in this case, I'll just kind of bring it to one of these verts over here, maybe. And for some reason here, I'm having a hard time snapping it onto that. Um, so I'll just kind of go to this edge here, hit enter. And then I'll just grab this one, holding and shift, grab this one. I'll go F3 and just merge at center. And I'll just kind of move it over like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my proportional editing. I'm just going to grab this bit over here, a vertex down here. I'm just going to go G and kind of just bend it in a little bit to conform to the body like that. I might just grab this and bring it out a little bit. Just like that. So now we have this like that. And then what we're going to do is we'll just turn off proportional editing. We'll select all of these bottom verts. We'll go E to extrude just a little bit and then E to extrude like this. E to extrude just again a little bit. And then we're going to go E to extrude and we're going to extrude all the way down. And let's just go to about here to the bottom. And then I'm just going to come here and kind of just space these a little bit more evenly by pulling these verts like so. There we go. And what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to come in here, go control R and roll the middle mouse button several times until we got a whole bunch of edges running across. And we got all of these little faces that are roughly kind of squares like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our edge select option. And we're going to come about here. We're just going to select this edge underneath where we have this sort of like narrow edge running along here. You can see just kind of narrow squares over here. So we just want to go to our edge select and just start here just underneath and then come to the bottom and go shift alt or I think shift control and then left click on here and it'll just select the whole thing going down. So from here all the way down like that. I'm going to go control B to create a bevel and just create a very thin bevel and then click like so. And now what we're going to do, we'll turn off our X-ray. We'll press A to select everything. Or we don't actually need to do that. For now, let's just go over to our materials. We'll go new and let's just call this yellow. because I'm going to go over yellow dress. And I'm going to go ahead to the viewport display. I'll make it kind of like a yellowish color. And then I'm going to click plus. I'm going to create a new material and call it seam. And on the viewport, I'll just make something like blue just so I can see it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select these faces here. So I'm going to go to my face select. Shift Alt left click, select this, these faces, these faces in here, all of these. And then these ones going down like so, all the way to here. Okay, so all of these narrow faces and I'm going to assign that seam material. You can see they all turn blue like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the front and just select all of these faces in the inside here within this blue boundary. I'm going to go plus, I'm going to create a new material. And in the viewport, I'll kind of make it any color to kind of contrast nicely with yellow and I'll assign it. And then we have kind of like the separate piece in the middle. And now I'll just go to my edge select option, enable proportional editing. And I'll just kind of grab some of these edges and just kind of move them out a little bit. Just like this, just create a little bit more volume like that. Okay, and I might just grab these, this little strip in between the two blue bars and give them a separate color, like the blue. And the reason we added that blue will make sense in a little second, but for now, let's just press A to select everything. Let's go E to extrude and extrude it back like so. And make sure it's completely sticking out the back. You don't want it intersecting with the mesh of the character. 
Then press A to select everything and go Alt N and make sure to recalculate the outside normals. That's really important. And then what we want to do, we want to go in here where all the openings are for the arm. And you want to select, going up, you want to select all of these faces in the inside. And you want to go X and delete those faces. And you want to do the same thing in here. You want to go X and delete all of these faces in the inside like that. But you want to leave these two at the top. And then you want to go to the bottom opening and you want to select all of these faces and go X and delete them. And then you only have all of these faces in the side. And what you're going to do in your side view in wireframe, you can just click and drag and select all of them like this. Right. And then you're just going to go X and you're going to go only faces and then it leaves the edges behind. And then you're going to click on the seam material. And this is where this is going to make sense. And we can now come here and click on select and it'll select all of these seam areas and we'll go X and delete only the faces. And now we have our dress pattern. So now let's go into object mode. Let's make sure to save. And then let's go over to our physics. Let's give it a cloth. Let's change the quality steps to eight. Let's come down all the way to shape and let's give it sewing by ticking the box over here. Let's give it a sewing force of 21. Let's come to the collisions, make it a value of five under the quality and then scroll down and enable self collision. And let's make the distance 0 0.005. And let's also come here to the distance under the object collision, make it 0 0.005. Make sure to save and now go to frame one and you should be able to hit the space bar. And now you see a nice simulation. Okay, I'm going to just pause right there for a second. I'll right click and go shade smooth. And I'll also go over to my modifiers. I'm going to go add modifier search. I'm going to type in sub and give it a subdivision surface. There we go. And now I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, no issues with that. Um, but I want a little bit more curve in it, or a little bit more um, like bendy bits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the address and let's just go back over to our physics and we're going to go over down to the shape. Okay. And we're going to come here to the shrinking factor and we're going to make it minus 0.1 and then let's go back to frame one and then hit the space bar. And now we're getting a little bit more looseness in the fabric which I think just looks a little bit more natural, it looks better. And there we have it, that is a dress. So I'm gonna select a dress. I'm gonna go over to the modifier. So I'm also gonna go add modifier, search and type in solid, give it a solidify. And then you can play around with the thickness. There we go, I'll give it a little bit of thickness. And there we have a dress. So that's it, that's how you make a dress in Blender. And what I'll do, is I'll grab this dress and I'm just gonna go over to the physics. If you wanna bake this, you can simply just go over to your cache. In my case, I only want 70 frames, so I'm gonna make it 70 frames in a cache. I'm just gonna bake it, and now it's baking it into the blend file. And there we have it. So now if I go to frame one and I hit the space bar, you can see this is what we have. And I'll just actually grab the character mesh and press H to hide it, just so you can kind of see the dress simulation. Okay, so here is the dress. I'll just pause it and it's looking really, really nice. And um, it's something that you could easily make. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, this was a bit of a fast paced tutorial, um, but it was relatively easy. And I think you can now go ahead and make a dress. I will be uploading this blend file to my Patreon. So those of you on the Patreon will be getting access to this blend file. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.